Okay. Yeah, I got that. Wait, all right, hold up. Where is he? Cool. No, I grew up with him. And he's pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great day of this fine spring. We're out here at Strake Jesuit where the Jesuit Crusaders will be taking on the Paraland Oilers. I'm here, Luke Trudowski, with my friend Martin Mejia. How are you doing, Martin? I'm doing great. I'm ready to see a great game of baseball tonight. It should be one. Starting on the mound tonight for the Crusaders will be number 28, Logan Lorenz Jr. It should be a good night for him. This is a tough series. Paraland took the first game of the three-game series. We'll be getting under game number two in a minute. It's 5.57. We're excited. I know everyone else in the booth is. It should be a good time. We have lefty Logan Lorenz on the mound, standing at six foot. He'll be facing number one, Nico Parita, the shortstop, one of the top hitters in the district this year, near the top three at home runs and batting average. It should be a good game, Martin. What are, what are your thoughts on Jesuits' plan today? They've been a little rocky, two and two in their last four. I think they're going to do great. I mean, Pearland is a good team. And, you know, we're 2-2, two and two, but, you know, we're, the Crusaders are strong, so we should pull out with the win. What do you think? I like what you're saying there with Paraland uh, being good. I think Jesuit definitely has the edge tonight. Jesuit 8-3 and three in the district, making them third. Paraland, though, has been lighting the world on fire. 
as they are nine and one in their last ten games. Impressive. It should be a good game. Stepping up now, number one, we're gonna get the first at bat of the game. Should be a good one. Nico steps up again, very good at the plate. Has a good eye for pitches. Come set in the windup. Here's the pitch. Ooh, and the other batter box for ball one. A little to the right. I think definitely, uh, hopefully effective for Lorenz. He's going to have to utilize that breaking ball well along with his combination fastball. Here's the pitch. Ooh, ooh, doesn't get the call. Maybe a bit low on there. With 2 0 count now, definitely a hitter's count. Nico looking for the pitch to hit. There we go, pitch three. Ooh, off the foul ball there. He has good bat speed, Martin. I think it'll definitely play effect here. What do you think of that? I think the bat speed is very fast. <laughs> and here's the 2 1. Ooh, ooh, again a little bit low. I think Lo Logan wanted that one, but he's not going to get it. Here comes Lawrence. 3 1, the pitch. Oh, and he gets that call there. Oh, here we go. 3-1. Three, 3-2 one. Three, count now. One ball walks him. Another strike gets him. The pitch. Flies it, and that'll be foul. 3-2. With the left-handed, right-handed combo, Nico seems to be very effective, effective against that, especially when he faces a slower type of arm. Logan, not in the worst, but he's definitely... Near the top. Here's the 3 2. Flies it back to us. We're inside, so we won't catch that one. What do you think the key is to winning for Paraland today, Martin? I think at the end of the day, the more people they get around, that's what makes a winning team. Sounds great. I like that one there. Here we go. All right. Payoff pitch. He sets and deals. Ooh, ball high. And that's going to walk the first batter of the night. That is going to bring up second, the second hitter here. So with the runner on first now, fan definitely good. Landry steps up here. Not bad at all, but he's definitely got a good speed. Showing bunt. Third baseman walks in. He's got that lefty pickoff move. Pulls back the bunt, and it's going to be flied to second baseman. Coming in and caught by the first baseman, number 11. That is James Riemann, the senior. Beautiful catch, beautiful catch. Definitely hard tracking that one, especially with this sky. A lot of clouds out there, Martin. Up next at the plate, number five, Water cycle in full effect. <laughs> <laughs> the third baseman, Daniel, stepping up now. Looking again. I was talking a bit that, about that lefty pickoff move, not having really to step off. Very effective. Oh, and there it is, as I said. Checking the lead on. Definitely can get moving if it's a problem. We know Nico has that speed. Daniel stares down Logan. And the pitch. Ooh, just a bit outside. That's going to be ball one. Well, we know Nico has good speed. 13 steals this season. Very good. But the, catch, but the catcher definitely got a good arm, so we can text, test that out. Here's the 1-0. Delivers. That ball's hit up the middle for a base hit. Nico's going to pull into second. He will not try to go to third. And that is the single for number five, Daniel Ontarius. This will bring up number 11, Brady Brewer. Very good in the cleanup spot. Swinging the nice golden bat there. Haven't seen a lefty yet, which is interesting, considering that they would not be playing the hands, for Jesuits' favor at least. Nico dances off second. Daniel on first. Here's the pitch. Ooh, inside, doesn't get the call. Well, Judge has been very good with pitching this year, Martin, but they also have been known to struggle a bit in the early innings. What are your thoughts on that? I think we just need a little time to get warmed up, and then, you know, once we get warmed up, we'll full we'll send. Definitely, definitely. Logan checks the runner. Here's the pitch. That's a strike right in there on the beautiful changeup. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, catching really able to frame that job. That's always one that's always gonna be that's always one that's gonna be a good. That's gonna give it a one one count now. You definitely wonder there. Two runs on, one man out. Don't wanna lose him here. Logan delivers. Oh, on the corner. 
tight zone, looks like. Logan's going to have to fight against it. 2-1 now. Logan can't fall behind 3-1 here, but definitely trying to get ahead. A ground ball would give the chance for the Crusaders to turn the double play. Here's the pitch. Oh, 3-1. Logan not happy about that one. That's okay, though. Most of this game does come down to a bit of luck, and that's always a nice little benefit, I guess you could say. But Looking set now. Good Comes pitch. There to take off. Ball high. Oh, and he walked him. Man, base is loaded already. Only one out. Martin, this is where we're talking about the early inning struggles. And they're going to go talk to him on the mound here. What are your thoughts on Logan's approach so far? Seems to be pitching around batters. I think his approach is a little bit flawed, but it's okay. We're getting it warmed up, and I think we'll figure out the um, the little flaws in our system here, and then we'll uh, we'll cycle them out, and we'll get these outs and move on to the bottom of the first. All right, Ashton Arenado stepping up here, looking good. Come set here. Base is loaded. The pitch from Logan. Strike. Interesting not to throw out of the stretch here. He's interesting to throw out of the stretch here. Usually when this base is loaded like this, a pitcher can choose to throw from the windup, but I guess he still wants that pickoff opportunity at first. But they don't seem to be holding him. Logan's going to come set. Takes a deep breath. 0-1. Ball in the dirt. Doesn't get it. It's a beautiful day out here. 80 degrees. A little bit humid, so that can affect the weather, definitely. The 1-1. Logan fishing for the ground out. That's why he's throwing it low and away right now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, oh, that's off the batter's helmet there on the foul ball. 1-2. The first count, he's been ahead all game. So this could be a huge moment here. A strikeout would be, immense, would be immensely wanted. One, two. Ashton able to fight out of counts usually, but here it is. One. Oh, fouls off the bat. It's a foul, though. With the count here, what, do you, what are your thoughts, Martin? Do you pitch directly at him, or do you pitch around him? I definitely pitch around him, so that way uh, the ball goes around the bat and doesn't make contact. I think that's the goal here. Trying to get that ground ball. I think I like the way you're thinking. Here's the one, two. Bloops it. He's going to get there. Oh, oh, tough run for the first baseman, James Riemann there. That was a good effort. Still a 1-2 count. This will be the third time in the count here. See, So here we're in a situation like this. It's important to have the low heartbeat that I think Logan needs to be having here. But as you always know, he can be a little intense. Sharing down the batter here. Comes set number three in the box. Here's the 1-2 for the third time. Curveball hits the third base. Are they going to be able to turn it? There's one at third. The throw to first. And the pick. He's in. Oh, he's out. Oh, good play. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, what a pick at first base. Looked like he came off the bag, but they are going to say he didn't. That's the first inning. Jesuit managed to get out unscathed. And here we go. Now we're on offense. Ham's offense here. What do you think is? Oh, wait. Oh, they're going to reverse the call. Wait a minute. That is my mistake here. They seem to be off the bag, and Coach is going to go have a word with this one here. But, man, so that is going to give Perlin a run. Runner, that means runners advance, to fir runners advance to first and second with one run on the mound. Logan. Oh, that was a close one, Martin. It was a close play at first, but I don't think the balance really helped. Do you? No, I don't think so. You know, extra friction. Yeah, pulls him off the bag. Doesn't really do the best job there. Isaiah Kinsada is going to get a chance to hit now with the runner in scoring position. Man, the morale after that is always tough. Come in when you think you got out of the inning, but instead you have to lock back in. Well, at least you don't have a runner on third base now. That's good. That's always good. Not direct scoring position. And you have some good arms in the outfield. Left fielder Silas Newport definitely there, which is going to be the pull. Come set. The first pitch in the account. Ooh, oh, just a bit low. 
Zoe seems a bit zone seems to be a bit higher than the average knees, wouldn't you say so, Martin? I think so as well. I totally agree. <laughs> All right. 1-0 count. You cannot get behind here 2-0. Catcher sets up outside the pitch. And it is outside, but a little bit too much. That's going to be 2-0 now. We're about 17 pitches into the inning. Obviously not where Logan wants to be, but he can get out of this with minimal damage if he gets a ground ball or a pop-up here. Two outs, 2-0. Two Challenge pitch coming. Delivers. That's going to be flied and foul. Hopefully the fan will get that one and be able to give it back to the umpires. It's going to be a 2-1 game now. 2-1 and two, two one count now. So we talked a bit about Isaiah, the right fielder. Great arm. He's been effective with the bat, jumping up the lineup recently. And he can definitely work himself into good counts. He's got one here, the 2-1. Let's see what he can do with it. Logan delivers. There it is on the corner. Strike Beautiful. two. Right down the plate. All right, 2-2, two, two, Martin. You can try to dance around him here, but you can also go at him if you want. I'd say we go at him and see what happens. All right. You heard your fir first from the color, man. 2-2 two, two now. Logan. Oh, fouls it off. Isaiah not willing to give in yet. That fastball, definitely able to reach the good, the good high speeds, but it also has the nice benefit of late movement, which can easily throw off a batter's timing and position of the bat, causing foul balls like that. The 2-2, two, two, though. Logan's going to come set. Checks the runner at second. Kicks, delivers. Oh, change up. That, ooh, that was close. Almost went there, but he didn't. That's going to be a 3-2 count. So Martin with 3-2. The runners are moving here in this situation. Do you agree? I, I'd say they stay right where they are. <laughs> All right. All right. 3-2, two, two outs. Here we go. Logan. And the, the bear steps out here. Gets the benefit of the early jump, but also he's talked about that lefty pickoff could get him moving. Here we go. One out now. Oh, with two outs now, one run, one run in. Coming set. Here comes Logan. And delivers. Runners off. That ball's going to be hit well to the gap. That's going to get down for a nice hit. Maybe some extra. One run's going to score. Rounding third, coming for home. Ashton, he's going to be safe at second. That's going to drive in two on the double. Wow. Oh, that is unfortunate for Logan. ERA might jump up a bit there. Wow. Just a tough inning all around. Thought he got him on the check swing, and he thought he got him on the bounce. The important thing here is to keep that momentum up and the morale up especially. Right, Martin? Absolutely. Absolutely. Morale is going to make or break this game, so if they can maintain good composure, this is what's going to matter here. John, here we have our first left-handed batter. Yeah, as I say, John Moyer, the first lefty of the night. It's going to play good for Logan. Throw that outside slider if he needs to. There it is, and he gets the call. Strike one. John, not really good in the clutch, but he's definitely a good bat. Nice little contact, not much power. Can poke the ball over the second baseman's head if needed to. Logan just has to really reset everything in his mind and pitch here. And the pitch. Oh, good block by the catcher there. He's dancing out a bit out there. He's dancing a good bit out there. At second base. We all know Jack Magnus has a great arm for a catcher. Can easily throw him out if needed. The 1-1 one, one count. This is the make or break pitch here. Who's going to go ahead? Logan kicks. He deals. Oh, just a bit outside. Thought he caught the corner, but he didn't. That's the 23rd pitch in this inning. 2-1. Two and one. Two and Oh, my bad. I'm not bad. <laughs> 21, uh, 2-1 count here. And the pitch. That ball is drilled, but it is foul. Whoa. Got a good bit there. 2-2 two, two now. Man. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Hit a home run foul. That has got to be demoralizing in the box. But you have to reset. I would say the mental game is always crucial, right, Martin? Absolutely. You know, if you can hit the ball, that's what counts. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Ground ball to shortstop. This should be the final out. And the throw on time. Wonderful, wonderful. There it is. Not the best of first innings for Jesuit. Pearland's going to take the lead 3-0. Logan is going to have to try to reset. All right, we're going to be back in a minute.
We're back here, and it's a battle of the lefties tonight as number 20, Jaden Bradfield, is going to take the mound for Paraland. He's been very good, known especially for a good changeup and a sweeping slider. Could be effective. Up to bat now will be number four for the Crusaders, Cooper Fulbright. Very effective. Cooper. We are back. So we talked about we talked a bit about momentum there, Martine. And we said how important it is, and I think it definitely comes down to the offense. You got to push at least one or two on the board if you want to keep that morale up. Wouldn't you say so? Uh, absolutely. You right. know, I, I think Cooper should do a very good job swinging here. Here's the pitch. Ooh, it's a bit of a outside. Bit of a sweeping slider outside, but that's okay. Cooper, especially good against left-handers, is going to make the jump in the lineup today. He had one hit yesterday, and the pitch. Oh, got it by him there. Great good. swing speed. Yeah, very good there. The bat path traveling well, easily. One of the, the better pitches in the league here, Jack. Jaden, sorry. Very good, very calm in the zone. 1-1, one, one. ball high. All right. Jaden's able to keep his composure in the tough situations, which is what I really like about him. Along with Cooper here, very solid, again, getting that contact. Here's the 2-1 from Jaden. Off the bat, it is going to be fair, and it's going to be into the gap. Beautiful. Get a roll around. All there he goes, Cooper. Rolling to second. To second. Rolling to second. Is he going to go for three? No, he's going to hold up there at second. A nice of double. That's how you get the blood pumping there, Martin. You know what they say about Cooper. Full bright, full swing. <laughs> That's a good one there. I like that. Here comes Magnus here. Jack is a... Senior this year and playing catcher. He's got a great arm and a great use for contact in the bat. He's also got some decent speed on the base paths. And as I said before, Jaden, very good in the composure situation. Well, he's got a runner in scoring position. He's going to have to deal with it now. Jack comes set. Very patient. Very good with runners in scoring position. He's hitting 312. The pitch. Here comes the pitch. Oh, rips it into the dugout there. That's a quick swing there. The electric fastball met well with the sweeper is very effective against the left-handed batters, which we're going to see tonight, I assume. But Jaden has to deal with the right-handers now, which might see that elusive changeup. Here's the 0-1. Braden looks back. Fires. Ooh, ball high. Well, 1-1 one, one now. Seen a lot of these counts so far. Always a big one. You don't want to go behind if you're the pitcher and have to fire back at him, and you don't want to go behind if you're the batter and have to swing at something you don't want. Jaden stares down. Number four, Fulbright leads off there at second. And the 1-1. One, one. Delivers. Ball inside. Oh, no, that one got a bit up. That's going to be a strike. Premature call by me there. That's going to be a 1-2 now, and as I said before, he's going to have to fight here. Jack has to fight off if he can. Doesn't want to swing anything outside. Jaden steps off the mound. He gathers his composure. Here we go. Calms his mind. Looks down at the batter. Jaden looks back at second. The pitch to Magnus. Oh, sweeper, and it doesn't get the zone. That's ball two. Great eye there from Jack Magnus. You definitely can tell. Two two and gets that energy up for Magnus. Can't lose him if you're Braden. Ah, it's gonna be ball three. Three two count now. How quickly a count can go from one two to three two. That's the beauty of the swing of the game. With the clouds blocking the sun today, we won't have much shadows, so it should be easier to see the baseball for the hitter's standpoint, which is definitely a huge benefit for them, but also not so much the pitchers as it goes against what they're able to throw that nasty breaker. Calm set. Here's the payoff. He's going to fire the second. Oh, and he's safe. Good pick move there, the spin move. Going glove side there, something very interesting. Common turnaround move. Jaden, also a lefty, can help pick off that first base and definitely has an advantage at the second base side, but loses that advantage when the runner gets to third base because he can't see him as well. Looks. Here's the 3-2 pitch. He delivers. That ball is drilled. Is it going to be fair or foul? It's hooking. It's foul. 
<laughs> close one there. From the booth, at least. May have been a bit easier if you were here tonight. Got a good crowd tonight, especially in the student section. Nice to see a couple of the guys pulling out. Always good to see the team team spirit. What do you say, Martin? Absolutely, absolutely. That's what makes or breaks the morale. <laughs> Always nice to hit that energy up. Good to see a battle of two top division teams, and they're fighting for it. Every game counts. Here's the 3 2. Jaden delivers. That slider is hit well. Beautiful, going, beautiful, going beautiful, back. Beautiful. Looking up. It's gone! Yeah! Jack Magnus crushing the slider deep to left field. It's a 2 to 3 ball game. Wow, Martin. 3 2 wonderful. came at him and he lost the battle. Absolutely beautiful. Always talk about keep that momentum up. Jack Magnus able to club his third bomb this season. Wow, he got a hold of that one. It's incredible, incredible. You know, Martin, they say when you hit it that hard, it feels like you're running on air around the bases. It also feels like sometimes you don't hit the ball. Always and nice to get that up. True, true. Rayom steps up after a nice pick last inning. Wow, that just swings it back. Jaden especially is going to have to have to run for that. He's going to go right, for the windup. Here comes the pitch. <laughs> Ooh, outside. Outside gets the ball. So we talked a bit about getting that momentum back, Martin. I think that helps it, don't you think? Yep, we got the ball rolling now. We just need to keep it going. The pitch. Ooh, swing and a miss. Definitely something James has to consider here. You cannot be over eager, and you have to stay in within yourself. It's still down by one run, but, man, it's always nice to get a nice little boost there. And the 1-1. One, one. Ball outside, 2-1 now. Man. James, the left-hander, all... Could see the sweeper come out here in a payoff pitch, but is right now it's 2-1. That ball's going to be hit to shortstop. James is going to try to right, pull it. Is right. he going to be able to beat the throw? The throw! Got him! Oh, he got him. That was a close call. Super close. And Jesuit might look to talk about it here. Oof. James thought, sure thought he was safe. They're not going to challenge it, though. Wow. Next up at the plate, number 12, right fielder, Oh, close play, Martin. Can't let it get true. you two down. That's the first out Jaden's got. First pitch. Ball high on the changeup. Ashton Bell, the left Ashton Bell, the right fielder now stepping in. Usually plays left field, but he's going to take right field for tonight. The 1-0. Ooh, ball outside. You see he's trying to dance around him here, Martin. You think that could be for the ground out? Yeah, absolutely. He's looking for that for sure. Yeah, definitely able to get that to the left, right side of the infield. Here's the 2-0. Oh, got him sword in there. It's a good pitch. There's the, the sweeper I was talking about. Always a good pitch for him to throw and can easily confuse the right-handed hitters. 2-1, Jaden. Oh, right in the corner. You know, we don't have a pitch clock out here. At Marco Steel Field, but we might because these pitches are going pretty fast. Trying to throw off the hitting timing here. Here's the 2 2. Ball outside. 3 2 count now. Crucial situation. Jaden does not want to walk him and put another runner on, although that would bring up the lefty. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Nice unfortunate, pitch. Unfortunate. Nice pitch there. That was the changeup for sure. Able just to dance around the bat at all speeds. Here comes the Renz. He's coming on. He's definitely got some help from the boys in the dugout now for that two-run blast. But he's going to try to add on to the damage and go out there. He's p pitching tonight. He's a two-way player. Love to see it. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, ball low and away. Seems these guys aren't really going on inside here. Seems to be a lot more of the dancing around the outside, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. The pitch. Strike right in there. As I say that, of course. <laughs> that was a 1-1 one, one right now. Jaden, very interesting. A battle of the lefties here. The pitch. Strike right inside. That's going to give him one, two. All right, Martin. I will be on the lookout for the sweeper if I was Logan. Coming set. Here's Jaden. The kick. The deal. There it is. Oh, but it's a ball high. Here we go. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. With that situation, wouldn't you say Logan kind of knew that pitch was coming there? Absolutely. I think he, you know, when he got out of the way, he could have tell it was coming for his face. So. <laughs> <laughs> two, two. Ooh, fouls off the changeup. Two, two. Again, as I said before, Jada's main put away pitch to the left-handers is the sweeper, but he does have that 
advantage of throwing the changeup that can dart quickly inside. Always in the back of your mind, at least it would be if I was Logan here. Here comes Jaden's delivery, 2-2 two -two again. Inside on the hands, it's going to be bloop. It's going to be a tough play at first. Jaden's going to pick and throw, and it's going to pull him off the bag. He's safe. Oh, tough throw there. All right, all right. Always a tough play, wouldn't you say, Martin? Absolutely, absolutely. That was a good run, exhilarating. Yes, very effective there. Now the question we've all been wondering, do the high socks of Pearland affect their playing style? <laughs> I would say so. Nice. Uh, definitely might not fight well with the comfort, but it does look good, I would say. I think it looks nice with that maroon and gray. It's pretty professional. I think maybe the high socks help them pitch better. I think you can see that, yeah. And steps are first sophomore of the night on the Jesuit team, Joe Malloy, not to be confused with his brother. And there for a strike. Malloy playing second, although he usually plays third or shortstop. He gets to field the right side of the infield today with the quicker toss to first. 0-1. Oh, Have to be careful if you're Logan. Don't want to get picked off and in this inning. That's strike two. And Joe has found himself in a bit of a count here. Hasn't let the bat go off his shoulder yet. Let's see what we can do. 0-2 oh, here. Has to fight if he wants to stay alive in this one. He comes set. Delivers. Oh, and he sorted him, but that's going to be a drop third strike. Are they going to throw him out? Yes, they will. That's the inning. All right. Jack Magnus is going to be able to cut into the lead a bit here with a two-run bomb, but it's still going to be a 3-2 game. Parallel leads. We're going to head to the top of the second. Stay with us. He's hitting in the 8 spot tonight. Here comes Logan after throwing 30 pitches last inning. Has to reset. Got the momentum here. First pitch. Ooh, ball outside. A little bit outside. So, Martin, usually when both stars go throw a lot of pitches here, you have to try to reset, although that can result in deleting into the bullpen. Here's the 1-0. Continue my question later. Ooh. When it comes down to it, who do you think would win in the bullpen battle here? Uh, Probably the bull. <laughs> I'm playing a straight Jesuit all the way. 1-1. One, one. That's going to be ripped fair down the line for a base hit. Rounding first and eight for second. Malloy, uh, Silas got a good arm out there. The throw. Not going to get him. Ah. Malloy's going to scoop it. Wow. Tried going inside, and Cade made him pay. As that's going to be hit right down the field line. Here comes the center fielder, Walker Hurst. Not bad. They're going to go a pinch runner here for the for number 13, Kate Adams. Number 17, Jet Hernandez. Going to be swapping in at second base now. Logan has to be calm in this situation. Jesuit warming up their pitcher down there. Coming set here. Here we go. The pitch. Some intensity. That ball is popped up to left field. Silas running in on it. Is he going to get it? Hat flies off, and he does have it. That's out number one. Beautiful. 
as I mentioned there, Jesuit has got some action going on in that bullpen. Number seven, and Clark Diller, the senior, up and running, the righty, trying to play the game here. A lot of righties in the lineup here. Stepping up number one, Nico Petrilla, again, one of the better hitters in the parallel lineup, also one of the better hitters in the district. Have to be careful when you're pitching to him. Jack, right, Logan, takes his calmness. Jack calls the sign, the pitch. Here we go. Ooh, See ball outside. outside. Definitely. You can't let him get around the ball. When you say Martin, you can really drive it. Uh, I'd say absolutely, absolutely. That makes sense. Able to get back. And I think that's why Silas is playing so far deep into left field. Also why we have Logan throwing around him here. And the 1-0. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Right in the corner. You got to be very, very careful with Nico Partida. Definitely. Very throwing around batter. him here. Trying to get that ground ball the first or maybe even an opposite field. Hitting 230 when pitch when he's going that way, but hitting an aggressive 392 when he's hitting to the left side of the infield. And the pitch, 1-1. One, one. Here's the ball, blocked by Magnus. That's a big thing, too. You have to get those catchers blocking it, too. Anything that gets by can allow runners to advance. That can be a game killer, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We have the 2-1 count now. Calm and collected out there, Logan. Nico gets set, and so does Logan. Looking back at second base, both Malloy's move in. The pitch, ball outside. Doesn't get the call. Three and one. Three one now. Can you afford to walk him in this situation, Martin? Maybe put the double play in order. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could make that happen. Yeah, See definitely. Happens. Don't have to really throw him a strike here. Just try to give him a pitch. He might have to bounce over, or if he takes, you have double play. Three one. Fires inside. It's gonna be popped up. Oh. That's going to be the fans. The, I don't think anyone got it. Well, 3-2 now. The payoff pitch here. Wonder what Logan's going to throw. He has an aggressive fastball and change it, but he can throw the curve if he wants to. He looks inside. Nico comes set. Not the best in 3-2 counts, but he can fight back here. The payoff pitch, and it's outside for ball four. All right, so that's going to walk number one, Nico, and that's going to put him on base, giving the double play a chance, but also the pickoff. Landry steps up, has a bit of a problem with the ground ball, can easily ground into double plays, but he's also quick, so it makes the double play a little bit less likely. Gets the sign from the third base coach. He comes set here. Gets the sign. Looks back at the second. Delivers, he's going to go for the bunt, and he pulls off, but it's going to be a strike. What if he tries to bunt them there? Looked like a bit of a sacrifice, but runners didn't go, so it might not have been. I don't know. 0-1 oh, here. Logan. Crucial situation. Not holding him on at first, but Joe is holding him on down there at second. Running the nice little flossing method down there. He's going to fire. Oh, no. Pulls back. But he does step off. I got to be a little bit less uh, optimistic there, don't I? <laughs> Hold back my... And preemptive calling. All right, we got 0-1. One. one out, so a double play would end the inning and get Logan out a little bit quicker than it did last inning, that's for sure. He comes set. Looks back at second. Fires. No bunt this time, but it's still strike two. Now he's got him 0-2. If you're Damian, you can't be really looking for your pitch to hit because there's a good chance Logan doesn't give him that. I would say uh, change up outside, wouldn't you, Martin? Yep, yep. That would make sense. Makes sense, yeah, definitely. Try to get that ground ball to first base. Calm set, looks back, and he fires. Curveball inside, it's going to be popped up. Going back is the shortstop. Incoming Silas, Silas going to call him off. Oh, but he dropped it. He's going to pick up the throw to third. They will get him at third because he was tagging. All right. Wow. Well, they're able to turn something bad into something good. Not a bad play by the shortstop, Brendan Novak. Able to run out there and just grab it. Quick, quick thinking there. Able to react well. Unfortunate, you can't really do anything there if you're the runner on second. It's true, it's true. We now have we now have boys on two and first a second and first base. Here we go. Ontivera steps in. The pitch from Logan. Outside the changeup. Seems to be working that left handed box a lot. 
Definitely not his ideal lineup as he's facing righties and not the best against them, but he can definitely try to work his way through it. He's a competent pitcher. Here's the 1 0. Logan looks back. He fires. Ball outside again. So, Sun so hidden behind some clouds today. Gives that nice little evening feeling here down at Stanley Merkel. It is 636. Here, winds are blowing to the right of the, bo of the box. I don't know what that direction that is, but here's the 2-0. Ooh, ball. Easily to push the ball to the outfield, though. So definitely going to be hooking a bit more towards the right-handed side of the, in of the outfield and infield. Daniel worked him way into a 3-0 count here. This one I don't think you can walk if you're Logan. You have to pitch to him. And there it is. Strike. Good frame by Magnus. Here we go. We got motion. 3-1 here. Easy play. Ground ball, pop fly, any out ends it. However, there's still that threat. Daniel did get a hit last inning, driving in two. And one. Ooh, fought back. 3-2. And right. now the runners will be moving here. Have to be careful. 3-2. With runners going, a hit to the gap could really cost Jesuit some valuable run support here. Logan trying to get his way through the inning without any runs brought in. 3-2. He delivers. There they go. Change of hit well. Joe calling it in. Calls off the first baseman, and that's going to get him out of the inning unscathed. Beautiful. Good inning for the Crusaders. Able to bounce back Changing effectively and keep that momentum right. going. Well... It's a 3-2 ball game now. We're going to kind of take a break, and we'll come back right after this. Here comes Silas, the lefty. Jaden threw 30 pitches last inning. He's going to throw. First pitch. Oh, gets the call in the out corner there. Just nicked it. The second sophomore in the lineup today, Silas Newport. And he winds and delivers. Oh, look out. Change up and on the hands. 1-1 one, one now. Silas been very effective this year, though he did battle with that injury at the beginning of the season. Very good. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh, that sweeper. Man, that was a good pitch. But it is ball too. Looked like he was going to hit him there for a second, but that's the beauty of it. Just able to pull right back in and get the ball. Here's the 2-1. Fastball on the dirt. That's going to be 3-1 now. Silas, very smart. Has a great eye and very disciplined. Not usually prone to swinging at pitches outside the zone. Whew, comes set here. 3-1 pitch from Jaden. That's going to be strike two. Good pitch. Just got the bottom corner there. Seemed to get it. It is 640 out here. We've been playing for about 40 minutes now. And the 3-2. That's going to be a grounder. Brown is going to get it and flicks to first. That's out number one. Along with Logan, Jaden didn't have his first in didn't have his best first inning, but he can definitely bounce back here. 
In comes the second Malloy tonight on the lineup. Jack playing center field. He's, he usually plays left field, but tonight he'll take the center field. Standing left, left-handed. Back-to-back lefties might be nice for Jaden. That's at least first pitch. Oh, change up right in there. Very good pitch. That's a strike. That's a strike indeed. We talked about momentum. This is the crucial point, I would say. Whoever can get it can take a lot with it. Oh, swing and a miss. Definitely the pull or push of the game. Very, very interesting. Make a break. 0-2. Oh, look out. That almost got him in the head. It's going to get past him, bounce off the net, and give him the 1-2 count. Not a lot happier. Perlin and Jesuit both have history, both good, and I think that's where it comes from. They're able to fight well in district, and always going to be a fun game when they play. Here's the one-two. That's ball two. Jesuit's already doing a little bit better than they did on Wednesday when they lost 3-0. Able to put runs on so far. Here's the two-two to Jack. Oh, fouls it off. Good swing there. Calm and collected. Always a crucial moment here. The 2-2. Two -two. That's, ball, that's ball three. Martin, if you're a jack in the box here, are you trying to push it or are you trying to pull it? I'm trying to push it for sure. Yeah, the outside, I agree there. You're trying to push that ball to the outside, maybe try to bloop it over the shortstop's head. I think that's, what, I think that's a good call. The 3-2 to Magnus, one out. Jaden delivers. And fouls it. Got a piece of it there. Here we go. We're still in this. I know. Payoff pitch again. Seventh pitch in this at bat. I'm sorry. Eighth pitch in the at bat. Here he goes. 3 2 again. And he got him. Blew it past him there. That's out number two. And Jaden coming back looks like he's even more collected as he quickly retires the first two hitters in the Jesuit lineup. Now it's about. Here comes the third lefty. We talked before how Jaden is very good against lefties. I think it's definitely being proven here, wouldn't you say? I'd say so as well, yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh. Ooh, ball outside. Yeah, I can definitely agree with you there, Martin. He's just showing, it's playing the hands, really. This is what he's facing a lot of lefties at the bottom of the lineup, and he's able to take their advantage. The one on. Ooh, and that's going to be fouled off. One, one now. Always a pivotal pitch in the account. You don't want to lose it. One one. Two one now. The the electric sweeper is still waiting in his box. He can always throw it for a strike, it seems like. Here's the two one. Oh, change up. Two two. And honestly if I had if I had some I would probably bet money on this pitch here being the two two sweeper, but that's, that's definitely on the front of Brandon's mind here if I'm him. Pitcher's stance is low and athletic. It's pretty good, right? I like it. Definitely able to come set and get his mind in that place. Here it is. Oh, I was wrong. It's going to be a fastball, but he gets the corner and gets the strike three. Wow, a quick, quick inning for Paraland. Jaden fights right back. Well, that's going to leave us a scoreless second inning. Coming out to the mound now is Jesuit, and we're going to see what we got here. Stay with us.
Logan has to fight back after a hitless inning from Jesuit, quieted by Jaden. First pitch to Brewer. Oh, gets the call. All right, Logan coming in with his 54th pitch. He threw 53 in the first two innings. Maybe trying to bounce back, have a little bit of a quiet earning this time. Here's the 0-1. Oh, ball in the dirt. Good block by Magnus. Keeps that umpire alive, that's for sure. Looking calm here. Always have to be here. Nice, nice little area to be in. 1-1. Ooh, good pitch. Framing didn't get it, though. It's going to be a 2-1 count now. Call man collected. The 2-1. Indeed, indeed. Oh, look out inside. We talk, you said, Martin, uh, you talked about the athletic stance there. Seems that Logan goes for more of a power stance when he's on the mound from the windup, staring directly at the batter and stepping off. Here's the 3-1. Right in there for strike two. Thought Brewer wanted to get that one on the walk. Can't always walk in this game, though. Need some hits. Fairland has four of them tonight. Definitely a reason why they're winning. Here's the 3-2. Crushes one to center field. Jack on the back. He's going to get it. Beautiful. And there it is. Easy fly ball. Nice little can of corn there for Jesuit. Yes, it seems that uh, Logan uses a lot of his pitching muscle for speed and power uh, behind the ball, and it's really just impressive. Yeah, definitely able to get that spin rate up you're talking about, and he throws that electric slider and powering fastball in. Very confident in his pitch here. Oh, good pitch. Strike one. Logan comes out with seems to be a bit more confidence here. Very, very powerful dominant here. Here's the 0-1. And there it is, strike two. All right. He's got him here in the 0-2 now. And as we said before, not really coming at him with a pitch here, probably throwing changeup blown away, but he could go slider inside. And there's the fastball look like away. Trying to get him swinging here. Mr. Ray not really known for chasing pitches outside. Has a decent eye. Here's the one-two. And he's going to roll over. Third baseman Ooh. off the glove on the dive. It's going to get past. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, he's going to go for two. Silas. Oh, he's going to throw it back in. All right. Man, tough play there. Just off the glove of the third baseman, number four there. It bounces, it bounces right past Novak. Looked like Novak might have had that one. Do you think... No, you think Ful Fulbright should have maybe gotten in the way? I I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think no. he did his best. Yeah, it's not a bad effort. Acevedo steps in here. That's the second error for the Crusaders tonight. Coming set now. One out. Double play does end the inning. Oh, picks off first. Looks like Daniel's ready for that one there. He did not worry too much about it. Acevedo. Can get ahead of himself sometimes. Known for being able to be gotten looking or swinging low and away, but he's also very skilled on the inside. Speaking of which, they throw inside, but that's going to be ball one. It's the one-two count now. Coming here. The one-zero. -oh, not much of a, barely any lead. He can step back if he wanted to at first. And the pitch. Oh, inside. Ball. Almost grazed his shoulder. Yeah, that's true. Nice, nice. Definitely maybe a bit of a pitch to try and knock him off the count. What'd you say? Get him off his balance and uh, see where we land with this pitch right here. Let's see. The 2 0. Ball three. Got 3 0 now. And yeah, tough situation. Here we go. Very has to fight here. Does not want to give another one on base. The 3-0. And there, strike one. With a 3-0 count and a runner on first, I think Acevedo would be taking all the way. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, not always nice for your pitcher. You can just kind of throw it in there and know it gets that strike. Get you a little bit of confidence back. Here's the 3-1 from Logan. Ball four. Just a bit outside. Powerful pitch. Unfortunately, it's a ball. Just missed. That's going to put two runners on now as he nears... This, as he hits his 60th pitch mark. Very relaxed. I've been talking a lot about today the calm heartbeat, and I think this definitely comes into it. You can't let more runs here. John, you get, get to face the luxury of facing one of the only lefties in their lineup. You trying to get him to roll over, Martin? Yep, we want to get him to roll over like a log. <laughs> get him to first base. Working up the middle like a lumberjack. The pitch. 
ball gets past Magnus. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's going to move the runners up two bases. Takes away the double play. That's unfortunate. If that takes away the double play, I think Logan was hoping for. Oh, it's just a costful, costly mistake for Jesuit. Totally agree, totally agree. 1-0 count now. Logan definitely wants to get out of this third inning at least. This might be his last one. And the pitch. That ball's ripped to the gap. Are they going to try to go home on the right fielder's arm? They are not. So it's going to be a one-run score. Runners to go to first and third, and it's a 4-2 ball game. Pearland, not bad at all. John with a nice rip. And now, here comes Coach Garcia Ramon. This might be it for our pitcher tonight. Logan pitched not a bad game here. Definitely could have been a bit better. Giving up six hits and a couple of walks. Going down four earned, four earned runs. And that's going to do it for Logan tonight. Give him a round of applause there. In comes the new pitcher, number 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 seven, Clark Dillard, the right-hander, trying to play that that matchup here. Definitely, wouldn't you agree? The so righty righty. Those right-handers. If you're not right-handed, you're wrong-handed. You know what I say? <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, especially not the best game for Logan, but and you're coming in here as Clark. You have a runner on first, which means you can turn that double play in the inning, but you have to be confident where you're going. The right-hander has a bit of a lanky delivery, but he can definitely throw it in there. His over-the-top hand allows him to throw the, ni the nice little back movement and can even add a bit of a hop to his pitches. Clark usually used as a reliever here. This is where his nice spot is. So, so far, it's not been the best game for the Crusaders defensively as we've had a couple of mistakes, but he's also shown just a little bit of unlucky hits to the outfield and there's always the problem of you can't really defend walks you true, know yes true. ball has to be in play if you want to make the play Clark throwing mainly fastballs this year he looks to be a very effective he is a senior other times he can play left field like that delivery he's gonna have to work himself out of the stretch here definitely not what you want to be in here especially right, with right. only one out in the inning but he's got good movement and could easily get a ground ball to second it's gonna turn if Joe. It's gonna turn in if Joe and Braden can turn it. Big moment for the Crusaders. Make or break Kate Adams, the lefty, stepping in here. Surprised Coach Gimo doesn't try to play the lefty-lefty matchup, but I guess he thought Logan couldn't handle it, and he's going to have to bring in Clark. Clark checks the runners at first and, and here third. Here we go. Number seven on the mound. It's my lucky number. Goes off. Ball in the dirt. Magnus is going to throw to second. He's going to be safe there. Runner's going to go home. Ah, oh, the double steal works to perfection, and Pearland's going to pull in another run. Looks like maybe Magnus hesitated a bit on that throw, and that would cost him. That's going to give a 5-2 to two lead. Perryland piling it on now. First pitch from Clark. So Clark, fortunate. not your traditional flamethrower, but he does have the Maddox-like approach of placing pitches on the corners of the zone. Could easily get the ground ball here. The 1-1. One, one. Another 1-0. One, oh. Ooh, ball in the dirt. 2-0 now. Not the pitcher's count, that's for sure. Might have to come at him here. If he does walk him, he does get the double play back into order, which always poses the interesting threat, but you don't want to give up and roll over. Looks back at second. Brandon holding him on. The pitch. That ball is hit foul. Good, nice rip. That's going to hit off the net and bounce back in. So All right, 2 over 1. 2-1, two, one, yes. Good point. Big moment here. Always good. To, as I said before, we have a nice crowd. Thank you to everyone who came out here tonight. Very, very pleasant evening, and always good night for always a good day for baseball. 
two one here. Clark looks back. The senior kicks and deals. Oh, there's a slider. Doesn't really get in the zone though. Three one. Yeah, I got the sun peeking up through the clouds here. About to go down in a second. Always nice. It's six fifty six here at Marco Steel Field and Strike Jesuit on this beautiful Friday evening. Always fun to watch America's pastime. The three one. Clark coming set. Here's the pitch. Ooh, ball bounced back into the dugout. Look out. Nearly took off a couple of his like, teammates' legs there. <laughs> Always got to be careful there. 3-2. 3-2 two. Two count now. Big one here. Thank you to the guys that, uh, thank you to the monitors for letting us stream this game. Always a good time to hang out with my friends here like Martin and get some good streaming in. Absolutely. 3-2, the pitch. Oh, he's going to fight that pitch off. Shortstop, Braden, bobbling. Ah, oh, and he didn't get him. Another costly error for the Crusaders. Man. I'm surprised he swung at that pitch. Maybe he saw something a bit better, and then the ground ball just didn't get him. Adams going to be taken out here for the pinch runner, number 17. Putting a little bit more speed on the bases. Hurst going to step in now. Sa the, the clouds have moved away from the sun a bit, allowing for a bit of the light, and it looks like it may be a bit of shadows. If you're any baseball fan, you know that that can affect the view and depth of the curveball, or even a slider. Diller definitely might use that to his advantage. Decent lead at first, might take off again. He's going to go for it. Slider's going to be a bunt. Are they going to go home? No, he's going to go to first, and he got him. Good play. That is a sack bunt. They're going to score a run, and that's going to give a 6-2 to two lead. Four runs ahead for the Paraland Oilers. Man. Three runs in the odd inning so far. But that is the second out of the inning. And here comes number here comes number one, Nico. Up next at the plate, number one, Nico Partita. A shortstop. He's gotten on base twice. He's gotten on base twice tonight. Looking to make it three here. He's gotten a bat in every inning so far. Hopefully he can keep mm -hmm. that trend up. Come set. Working up the middle. The pitch. Ooh, good movement. Doesn't get the call, though. A bit down. 1-0. Magnus. Legs got to be hurting if you're squatting that much. I always going to say, I would never be a catcher. <laughs> Hurt the ankles and the knees. Oh, yeah, definitely. Surprised you can do it, though. 1-2. It's impressive. All right. I was going to say 1-2. It's a 2-0 now, actually. No strikes in the count. There you go, two balls, zero strikes. Definitely a hitting count, and they seem, even though there's the change and it's the right-handed, right-handed matchup, they are still not throwing to Nico, trying to get that outside, maybe work around him. But you can't always do it for the guys in the top of the lineup. Half try to get a ground ball here. 2-0. Oh, there it is. Fouls off the pitch, gets behind Jack. It's a 2-1 count now. Paraland, always a, an effective team. They had a nice little stretch here, as we said before. They're riding the seven-game winning streak, trying to make it eight tonight. And Jesuit has been splitting these past couple games, and they want to definitely knock Paraland off a high horse, try to get him back to earth. Here's the 2-1 from Dillard. Looks back and deals. Slider. Oh, beautiful. Going to make it a 2-2 count. All All not right. going to plan, maybe for the Crusaders there. Down 6-2, but easily a game can come back. Right, right. It's all about that momentum and that sh and that uh, the power shift. What do you say, Martin? Absolutely, we got motion. Definitely. All right, two, two. Down to the final strike of the inning for Paraland. Nico doesn't want to be the one to put it out. Not many, not known for really striking out. Clark comes set, looks back at second. Two, two. Ooh, ball low. That's gonna give him three, two. Runners won't be moving here. There's no base loaded. Jack has to be ready with the arm, though. Always a threat to steal at any time on the base. You have to be ready. There's a big 7 0 on the clock and the 3 2 pitch about to come. Here it is. He's going to take off. Oh, and he bounced it. A bit foul there. As I said before, Jack has to be ready. If he walks him, it's not a free base for the runner at second, and it will be a play at third. The 3 2 count now, and he. Clark looking very calm out there. Nico readjusting the helmet, trying to get the better eye line. Kicks into the plate, makes the sound of the cross, and he looks here. Staring each other down. Clark comes set. 3 2. The pitch runner goes again. Ball high. Oh, he didn't see him going. That's going to be ball four. Another walk for Nico. And yet again, we'll have runners on.
first and third this inning. Damien's been a bit of a nice little contact and a bit of a thorn in the side of Jesuit tonight as he's been putting balls in play. He's also got that quick speed and more of a slap type bat able to push the ball over the heads. Well, they have two outs now. A ground ball would in the inning on his, any out would in the inning right now. But he has to fight him. Clark needs to get that out. Looks back. Nico no Oh, fires to first. Nico almost got caught lagging there. Easily one of the bigger moments in the game here. You don't want to give up more. Jesuit does have the top of the lineup coming up next inning, which would be nice to get that momentum shift back in their favor. Here's the whoa. Oh, nearly got it. Good miss. 1-0. Looking to stay here. Nico could steal if he wants to. There's the 1-1. One, one. That ball's going to be ripped. Is Salas going to get it? No, he's not. It's going to hit the ground. That's going to score another run. Nico's not going to try it. Oh, ball gets away. There's no one in the infield. No one in the cut. That's going to make it a 7-2 ball game for Pearland. They are really piling on now. And it is... I definitely think this could have been a better pitching outing, Martin. I Absolutely. Would, yeah, not not the best one here. Logan struggled a little bit, and then now it's just unfortunate. I talked about before before the game. Me and Martin were conversing about how the uh, the ball just has to bounce your way sometimes, and it clearly hasn't for Jesuit. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, I agree, and you know sometimes it's the pitching, and I think we've also had some uh, missed opportunities on defense dropping the ball. Uh, where Pitch. we should have caught oh, there's it. There's the sweeper. It's going to get through. It's going to challenge the armor. Jack Malloy. He's going to go for it. Well, he's going to fire to third. The throw. In time, he pulls out the bag. He's out. Oh, what a play. Good play by beautiful, Jack beautiful. Malloy to gun him. Keeps the run in. It's a 7-4 ball game. Jedge was going to have to pick up some slack here in the bottom of the third. Will they be able to do it? Stay tuned. And stepping in is Fulbright. He had a nice hit last time. At ball gets by him. A 19 pitch inning last game for last inning for Jaden. But he's gonna try to battle here. But he faces the top of the lineup with some powerful right-handed hitters. Cooper amongst them hitting a double last time. Oh, one pitch. Oh, inside. Jaden, the power pitcher, might not have anything to lose. This could be his last inning too. But he wants to get out of the third. Maybe outduel his opponent, Logan. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That ball is ripped up the middle, and that's going to be two hits for full tonight. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, that's a single and a double. Two parts of the cycle. That's always something. Lead-off hit is very important. Right, Martin? Indeed, indeed. Up next at the plate, number eight, catcher Jack Magnus. Here comes Magnus. We all know what he did last time, crushing one of the left field fence. Maybe trying to get that boost of the energy up again. Half the it's lead. True, it's true. Although right now, just trying to get a pitch to hit. Very calm and collected. Leading off of first. Not holding him on. Oh, the throw over, and he's going to be safe. Fulbright, definitely effective on the base pass. Has a couple of swipes, swipe bags this season, and he's trying to continue that streak tonight. 
Can't get caught lacking though on the base pads. Jaden eyes him again. First pitch. Ooh, there's a bit of a sweeper. So that was the pitch that uh, Jack got a good hold of last time. Surprised he'd throw it again. Although I do like to see that Jaden has no fear in sh going back to him, showing he's not intimidated by Jack and he's willing to fight him. 0 oh, 1 count now. Leading off of first is Fulbright. Comes set, delivers. Ball in the dirt. That's going to be a 1 1 count. Always a crucial count here. Don't want to fall behind on either side. Getting the sign from third base. Pearland up 8 to 2, but this is baseball. It can switch at any moment. The 1 1. Looks over at first. He kicks, he deals. Strike inside on the hands. It's going to be a 1 2. Jack may not agree with that one, but he's going to be okay with it. Yep, yep. Able to fight well. He's one of the better hitters when he's down on the count. Able to fight almost as good as he is when he's up in the count, but he can never be that good. 1 2. Magnus. The pitch. Going to grill up the middle. Is that going to be a double play? He's going to pick it. Step on second for one. The throw to first. It's in time, and he's on the bag. Out number two. A killing double play. Wow, Pearland able to turn it. The second baseman taking it for himself. Impressive, and impressive. getting the out. Very impressive and a great stretch by the first baseman. It's true, it's true. Definitely has to be flexible. Where comes the first baseman, James Rayom? After that, the lefty, lefty matchup here. Jaden. Ooh, sweeper. Oh, and he gets the call. Maybe the zone was extended a bit there, but he gets it. Well. <laughs> oh, one pitch. Swing and a miss. There's the sweeper. Oh, two. Jaden has very much gathered himself into a calm, collected state here and showing off his versatile repertoire. Here's the one, two. That's going to be a rollover, but it's going to be foul. 0-2 oh, count now. And he's looking it down. Able to hide his emotion with the glove. Here's the 0-2. Oh, Maybe a bit of a longer windup. Ooh, ball outside. Trying to throw a bit of a fast pitch there. The 1-2 now. And here come and Raheem, Raheem has to fight this one here. 1-2. There's the sweeper inside. Doesn't get the call. Ooh. That one looked like a strike from everywhere in the ballpark. Jaden definitely thought so. So it's a 2-2 count now. Maybe it's had a bit too much movement on it. It's going to be 2-2. Jaden comes set. Here's the 2-2 now. Swing and a miss. And he got him on the changeup. That's out number three. Jaden collecting himself after that big two-run first inning. And he's fought back very effectively. We're going to go to the top of the fourth. It's 8-2. Pearland winning. Thank you.
Well, we're back here, and if you missed it, you've missed quite a lot. First inning saw a three to two, uh, saw a three to two lead, but after that it seemed quiet for the second. But Pearland piled on last inning. They lead eight to two. Dillard throws the first pitch. Nice curve, getting it in there. All right, all right. Lorenz, Logan Lorenz, and Lo Logan Lorenz was able to get through the first two innings, but couldn't get out of the third. This is where Clark Diller came in, and he's going to throw it ball outside. Jesuit has some action up there in the bullpen. Ben Levis, the left-hander. Clark, not known for pitching too many innings, but he's effective. The 1-1. One, one. That ball was popped straight up in the air. Coming in. Looking for catch. Baseman, he got it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Nice, nice play there. Number four. Oh, uh, yeah, number four. Up to the plate, number three, Ashton Arredondo. Good play there by number four, Cooper Fulbright. He's got two hits today. Now he's got to play in the infield. All around, great player. <laughs> two Here ways. we go. Oh, nice hooking curve. I really like that 12-6 action from the bat there. Can easily dip inside of the batters here. Dillard's playing the righty-righty here with one out. That ball's hit well to left field. Is the right fielder going to get there? And he does. My bad. Right field, but still a great play. The right fielder making a good amount of ground to make the snag. That's number 12, Ashton Next up Bell. At plate, number 15, Isaiah Castaneda. Wow, great play there. Castaneda steps up here. This is the first inning Jesuit started off so far. I think either team, when getting two outs before letting any runners get on base. First pitch from Dillard. There's the curve again. Start every batter so far with a curve ball. Wonder if he'll keep that trend. The 1 0. Dillard locked in. There's the curve again. He really likes it. Very effective. It's going to bring him the 1 1. Eight hits on the night for Perlin. Only four on the Jesuit side. The only The main difference on the board seems to be not only the runs, but the errors. Jesuit has two of them. There's another curve. That's going to be in the dirt. Two errors have cost Jesuit some crucial outs and let Paraling slip true, a few more on base. 2-1 now. Clark trying to get behind too far. And he delivers. Fastball in there. Ball three. 3-1 three, count now. And Clark selling himself in here. Top of the fourth here. That's Marco Steele, 7-14. There's the pitch, and that's going to walk him. Nice thing about baseball, at least at the high school level, is there's no clock. So you do have a little bit of time, but you do have a set amount of outs. Up, number four, John Moya. Definitely Jesuits goal. They have 12 outs. Seems they have 12 outs left, or the, if they can get out of this one, hopefully. The left-hander John steps in. He had a huge hit last time. Clark looks over at first, holding him on his number 11, James Raheem. He's going to fire. Oh, he's safe. Nice pickoff move there. Nice pickoff move, definitely. That's really good picture quality. Nice little view from tonight's game here. Oh, two. Clark, we're going to throw over again. Safe again. Dillard, maybe doesn't want him running, but also could be trying to stall, maybe get a little bit of his thinking in here. Has to choose what pitch is best. First left-hander he's faced this inning, at least. Here we go. Coming set from the stretch. The pitch. There he goes. Jack's throw is going to be on the line. Did they get him? Yes, they did. Got wonderful, him on the wonderful. base pads. Great play. Magnus guns the runner. So far, Perilland couldn't push anything through the evening innings. And Jesuit's going to have to come in here. A huge, huge at-bat. They need to push something across. Let's see what Let's we got after done. this.
Here we go, third inning. Strong hitter. Ashton, yeah, coming in after making a good play last inning. And Jaden on the mound. He's got 62 pitches through the first three innings. First pitch. Quite a lot, quite a lot. Ooh, definitely not where you want to be. I agree with you there, Martin. But he has settled in very nicely. Again, after that two-run Magnus home run, Jezrin hasn't been able to push anything across. That's going to be a ball. 2-0. Two zero count now. Pitch to Bell. There's the sweeper right in there. Doesn't seem to be much action going on in the Paraland bullpen. Although Jesuit does have two pitchers warming up now, it looks like. Here's the two one. That ball's hit well to second baseman. He's gonna scoop right, it. Yes, right. he is. The throw to first in time. So fortunate, fortunate. Out number one for the Paraland Oilers. Now coming up to bat, a left-hander. Trying to face Next here. Next up to bat, number 28, Logan Lorenz. We're starting to pitch to Logan Lorenz, stepping in here, trying to take his hacks. The two-way player. Hopefully a bit more offense tonight. Oh, oh. There's the sweeper. We're seeing a bit of an uh, an, uh, an increase in pitching of that, especially to the left-handed batters, as we said before. He's very good at throwing at it. It's true, it's true. Oh, one. Oh, change up. Didn't get it, seems like. Jaden might have wanted that one. Get him a 2-2, but it's a 1-1 count now. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's the changeup. It just stays there. Such a hard pitch to hit, especially if you throw it right. I think Lo Logan saw that maybe two pitches there. Just kind of hovers. Looks like a fastball and cuts inside. The 1-2 now. We got 1-2. and two. Logan's going to hit a chopper. He's going to be able to beat the throw out. Shortstop pulls it down. They'll throw it up first in time. Out number two there, and Jaden still settled, seems still confident and settled in. That's why, he's, again, we've talked about that clutch factor. He has this little heartbeat. Second baseman, number three, Joe Malloy. In steps Malloy. Last time, grounding out, hopefully for a better outcome here. All right, third crusader that's been on the uh, up to bat this inning. He's also one of the only two sophomores in the lineup tonight. He's got a nice learn. Here's the OO pitch. Oh, look out. <laughs> Fouls right back. Thankfully, we have that netting there, so no one's going to get hurt. Calm and collect. That's all you're getting from Jaden on the mound right now. 0-1. Oh, the pitch. Ball. Oh, inside. Strike two. 0-2 oh, count now. Joe can find himself having a tendency to work in some accounts. He's in a bit of a slump right now, but he can try to fight his way back out. Here's the 0-2. Oh, Oh, watch the pitch that could have very easily sent him packing, but he's going to be okay. This is a 1-2 count now. Especially with a little bit of the expanded zone we've seen tonight. Have to work around that if you're a batter and use that to your advantage for your pitcher. The 1-2 from Jaden. Nice nah, ball, 2 in the dirt. And looks like Joe has fought back in the count. The 2-2. Two two. Two, two count. Beautiful sun out here tonight. Jaden delivers. That ball is popped up. And it's going to drop down. <laughs> Joe fighting off now. Has a beautiful silver bat. Reflects the sun nicely. The 2-2 two, two count. Two is all over the place. Two outs, two balls, two strikes. And that's going to be ball three. Looks like it got him, but it hit the ground before it did. So it's going to be a 3-2 count. So Joe went down 0-2, and he's battling himself back to 3-2. This will be the ninth pitch in this count. Here's the 3-2. Jaden delivers. Ball four, and what a walk for Joe Malloy. Very wonderful, wonderful. Very solid, able to have that good eye we talked about. Up to the plate, left fielder number two, Silas Newport. In step, Silas collected the lefty. Got good speed on him and always an effective batter. True, Scary true. face if you're left-hander. Joe leans off there it's at first. Can't get too far because Jane's got that good lefty pick move. Oh, right, well. right. That's going to be a ground ball to shortstop. This could end the inning. The throw to second in time. Wow. After a two-run first inning, Jesuit has been silenced for three straight. We're going to head to the fifth. See if Dan... You know, Straight Jesuit has made a couple errors, but you know what they say, to err is human. But the key is, if you can err less than the other team, not only will you be human, you will also be winners. That's Stay with us. One.
I like that. Clarkson, come out of the mound. Let's see what we got here. We're back here tonight. It's the top of the fifth, and there's been a pitching change. Jesuit has brought in Cooper Fulbright. He's had his game today, playing the infield, two good hits, and now he's taking the mound. Oh, batter wasn't ready. I don't think the catcher was, but Connor definitely was. He was or Cooper definitely was. He was going. Here we go. Fulbright, full swings, full pitches. Let's get it. First pitch, ground ball is going to hook fair. No, it's not. Perrin does have some action finally warming up in that bullpen down there after four solid innings from their starter, Jaden. Can't worry about that right now. Cooper, looking at Magnus here. Good bond these two have. Very effective, here's the 0-1, the pitch. And their ball. 1-1 one, one count now. John, we've seen a lot from him today. Heard his name a good bit. Stands out as one of the only lefties in the lineup here. It's true. The 1-1. One, one. That's gonna be a rip foul. 1-2 now. Jesuit struggled getting ahead in the count tonight, but we've seen a little bit of that these past inning, and sees it here now. Trying to get there historically, though, tonight at least. Perryland's been effective in scoring the odd-numbered innings, so we'll see if that trend continues here. Fulbright delivers the 1-2. Oh, and he got him! Not what he was intending. Lost. The fastball looks like, and he hits him on a 1-2 count. Not the best pitch there. Up next to bat, number 13, Cade Adams. Here comes Adams stepping on now. Well, that puts a runner on first base with no outs. Adams hacking left-handed now. Not a big lead from John at first. Here's the pitch. Gets good secondary, though. Swing and a miss. Good fastball. Cooper, known for having a devastating breaker, but he also could throw a pretty heating fastball with a nice jump at the end there. Usually known to hop the hop the metal. Here's the 0-1. Delivers. Ball outside. Maybe a bit of a pitch, see if he was stealing there, but he wasn't, so it's going to be a 1-1. Cooper staring down the hitter. Adams looks back. Here's the 1-1. Not a big league from John at first. But he's going to go for it. Jack's on the curve to throw out the throw down. He's safe. 
good stop by Malloy in the back half after Braden couldn't get it. He ran on the right pitch there, Martin, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm just taking it slow. 2 1 count now. He's going to step off here. Two one now. I'll chime in occasionally. Pitch. That's gonna be ripped for the base hit. Are they gonna challenge the arm of the right fielder? Yes, they are. He's gonna pop up the throw to the plate. The throw. Safe. Oh. Nice little relay throw there, but he didn't get him. So they're gonna put up another run in on number inning, making it nine to two. Seven thirty. I think you're right about the uh, trend of them putting up uh, putting up runs in the even or the odd the odd innings there. Cade is looking like he might be subbed out here for a pinch runner, and he will be. Number 17 comes in here. Well, that's not what you want to start an inning, that's for sure. Unfortunately, not. Double play though could get your momentum back. Not a lot of hits for Jesuit. They've been stunk out for the past two innings. Big lead. Oh, and they picked him off. This is not good for the. So he's going to run. They're in the rundown now. Can Brandon get him? He's going to throw to second, and he's got him. Wow. A very good pickoff. An aggressive lead is met with a great throw from Cooper, and they get him All in the right. rundown and get the out. Nice little turnaround there. It's 1 2. Look at that screen. It's a beautiful day out here. I know I've commented on it a lot, but the wind, the breeze, everything feels nice. Absolutely. Great day for baseball. Well, that's going to be nice. Gets, uh, gets to give Cooper the nice little luxury of throwing from the windup. Up gets set. So does the catcher. Here we go. Magnus gives the sign. Cooper picks it up. He's ready to deal. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Oh, no strike. Never mind. A little bit off there. Zone got a little bit to the left-handed box there. There we go, Cooper. putting on the game face. Very calm, the pitch. That ball's in the dirt for ball. That's a 1-1 count now. Cooper trying to find his way out of this one here. The 1-1. Here's the pitch. That is strike two. Gets a nice little bit of a group on the outside. Always nice to hear the snap of the leather when it hits the glove. It's a great feeling, especially for a baseball player. You hear it, it's beautiful to the air. And the there one. Here we go, here the pitch. That ball is fouled off. One, two. Here we go. Nine hits to the night for Paraland. Maybe we can get another one here. The one, two. Did he get him? No. A little bit low. Cooper wanted that one, it looked like. Takes off the hat to readjust the hair. It's 2 2 count now. Beautiful Friday evening. Cooper wants to get his first punch out here. Here we go. And the 2 2. That is going right. to bring him up on the nice curve. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Great play there. Cooper battling back after that run. Gets two quick outs. In succession, but that's going to bring up the dangerous leadoff man, number one, Nico. Number one, Nico Partida. Partida. He's gotten on base for three times tonight. And Cooper. Will he be the man to take him down here? Nice pitch. He's really framing that pitch on the outside there. Been very effective so far. He's going to look at him. Nico, here's the 0-1. Ooh, ball gets away from Magnus for ball one. 1-1 one, one count here with two outs. Top of the fifth. Nice, nice game here. Cooper, readjusts his hat, gets his nice place on the mound. Seems to be a little bit to the right of the mound. I guess he's trying to really angle himself there. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, inside. Almost got Nico. Cooper already hit a batter once this inning. Doesn't want to recreate that memory, that's for sure. 2 1 now. Calm and collected, staring down. Nico, here's the pitch. 
Ooh, swing and a miss on the nasty slider. And that's going to give us a 2-2 count. Down to the final strike this inning. Stands in. Kicks up. Deals. Swing and a miss from the catcher. The throw. And they got him. Well, that's a good one here. Quick inning. Only one run given up. Not bad. Jesuit needs to make some ground up here. We're going to head to the bottom of the fifth. Downs comes in here tonight. He's coming in here. as Jaden staying on the mound after we saw some action in the bullpen. Palin's got confidence in him. The first pitch, strike. This is a big inning here if Jesuit wants to make some noise and get some runs. They're going to have to do it here. Jaden delivers. Oh, ball outside. Change up. He's been locked down tonight, but, but it's a game that can easily change. What if he has all this, what if the coach has a short leash, the 1-1? One, one. That's a strike inside. Robert taken inside. Not a lot of aggression from the Jesuit batters tonight. Seems to be more laid back, and I think Jaden is definitely taking that to advantage. The 1-2 here. Swing and a miss. Looks like more of a golf swing as he gets some swing in there. That's going to be out number one. The shortstop, number 31, Brandon Novak, a lefty. Trying to make something happen here. Jesuit running out of time. Oh, that's hit well, but that is going to go into the tennis courts. So that's going to be foul. Oh, one count. And Jaden delivers. Hi. I was wondering about that. I saw this now. Let's talk with Martina a bit. Uh, that they, it seems Jaden's been getting ahead a lot of the counts. Definitely putting the pressure on the Jesuit batters. 1-1 one, one here. It's true, it's true. There's a sweeper for 2-1. He's got to be able to hold it, though. Top of the lineup is coming up, so that's definitely on the forefront of both parallel coach's mind and the parallel pitcher, Jaden. The 2-1. Oh, Ooh. high and tight on the changeup, but he doesn't get a strike call. 3-1. and one. Moving out of the way so he doesn't get hit. <laughs> I know Very that. Very smart. Maybe wants to try to get a hit, not just get hit, but he's got him 3-1. A walk does the exact same thing. Stepping off the mound here. He's going to recollect himself. That's a bit of a tilted motion. Here's a 3-1. That's going to be a ball four. Easy walk for the shortstop. All right. Not bad at all. Tilted motion gives him a bit of power, and in steps today's superhero for Jesuit. Stepping up to the plate, number four. Cooper Fulbright. All He's right. been having a good game. Definitely the guy you want to see if you're a Jesuit fan. Jaden's still on the mound. Oh, wait. We've got a switch. Yeah, I think this might be it for him. Coach approaching the mound. Coming in here. Maybe just going to try to talk this one over. This could be the game. 
Well, Cooper has been effective, as we said. Gotten on base back-to-back -back times. A double and a single. So, as we said before, definitely the guy you want to see. Even, even if you're switching from a left-hander to a right-hander, you might not be getting much of a difference. And it seems like they will not. I'm going to keep Jaden in here. A lot of confidence in that Paraland pitcher. Cooper. Looks like he's staying in. He's going to be confident here. Has to be interested. Does not want another ground into a double play to end the inning. Jaden's right. pitched a fantastic game here, but you can really do some damage. Got to get that train rolling somehow. Fulbright steps up to the plate. Fulbright, full swings, full pitches. Let's get it. Nice. Down low there. It's going to be a 1-0 count. He's got that great eye, too. Not really known for hacking that pitches in the dirt. And he's good at holding them in. Here's the 1-0. Not really much of a lead at first. A pitch. Oh, and there. That's going to be ball, too. 2-0 now. Jaden looks like he might be fading a bit on the control hand side as, he's walked the first, as he walked that batter. And now he's got down 2-0. Has to be a pitch to be attacked. Cooper has to be ready to swing. Here's the 2-0. And there it is. Strike one. The 2-1. Maybe a bit inside. You could be Cooper definitely has a situation here. He can be a bit picky on what pitch he wants to swing at. Novak leads off of first. About his foot, his foot on the grass. Here's the 2-1. He kicks. Delivers. Inside. Ooh, Cooper thought it was a ball, but it's going to be strike two. And 2-2. Two, two. We've seen Cooper here before. Can he battle himself out of this one? Yes, sir. Here we go. Novak leads off of first. Jaden trying to get his momentum back after the walk. Looking for a hit. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and up the middle. This could be a double beautiful, play. Beautiful, beautiful, There's the flip to short. There's going to get him there. Throw to first. And Jaden's gotten through five with double two play. runs. He's pitching a beauty, and he's got some gold glove defense That's behind him. Five. Wow. The ball has not bounced the right way for the Crusaders. They remain hitless in the past three innings. And that has been a good one. All right. Well, coming out now on the mound. Might see, might see some substitutions. Here we go. It's going to be a good game. Well, we're back now, and Cooper's going to take the mound for his second inning of work. It's the top of the six again. Here we go. If you're a Jesuit fan, look away. Apparently, has beaten them good 9-2. to two. Looks like the streak might live on, but Cooper's got him where Cooper's going to try to take him here. First pitch. We have three more innings to make something happen. Oh. Yeah, two more. Let's stay hopeful. 1-0 count now. Here's the pitch from the. That's going to be a ground ball. Third baseman, easy pick. Two, that be out number one. Oh, it gets away on a bounce. 
That is unfortunate. Man, there's the airs again. It has not been Jesuit's best game defensively. And that's going to make it the third air of the night. Almost as many airs as they have hits. You have to try to fix up that defense. Also get more hits than they want to win this one. Cooper on the mound facing the righty here. Here we go. Fulbright. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, he's going to pick Check. off first. Checks him up first. He's going to be okay. Despite the score, we still have a decent amount of crowd here tonight, which is nice to see. Some of the students have even sticked around. Good lead. He's going to go for it. It's going to be down. Magnus' throw. Is he going to get him? Aye. Oh, did he get him? Oh, he's safe. out. Oh, he's safe, safe. Sorry. My bad. I called that one wrong. Looks like he went off the bag. Didn't get him on the initial throw. Thought he got him on the tag back, but he didn't. Looked like they were just rolling around out there. <laughs> Malloy tripped over him. Good old pals. All right. No outs now. That's a, that is a strike, though, so it's going to be an 0-1 count. Here we go. Fulbright looking to make some more pitches. Here's the 0-1. Steps off the mound. Fulbright regathered himself, working his fingers around the ball, trying to find the pitch he wants to throw. Seems to have it now. Lead off and get second. And the pitch. That's going to be a bunt. Oh, ball. Low athletic stance. Unfortunately, a little low. No back in. Malloy working up the middle there like two, lumberj two lumberjacks setting us on the log. It's a 1-1 one -one count now. Challenge pitch coming here for Cooper. Oh, steps off. The, looks around. The 1-1 one -one count. Gets the sign from Magnus. Number two leads off down there at second. And the pitch. Not a bad one there. Definitely a good curveball, but it gets a little bit too high. It's going to be a ball. 2-1. Jesuit's pitcher looks down. Number five here. He's been effective. He's going to call time, and it's going to step off. Not too important of a pitch coming up here, but he might just want to get his nice little relaxed here. Sun is setting over here at Merkel Steel Field. It is 7.45 with the beautiful breeze as the 2-1 pitch is about to be delivered. Kicks, deals. That's going to be hit well. It's going to get through. Are they going to challenge the arm of the right fielder? Yes, they are. Here's going to be a play at the plate. The throw. Big throw. It's going to go down. The throw. Got him at the plate. What a Woo! throw from the right fielder, number 12. That's Ashton wonderful, Bell. Wonderful. Gundam. There we go. That's an out. Wow. What a throw there. Man on first. Able to punch it in. Thought he could outrun it. Next and up at the plate, number 11, Brady Brewer. Cooper thanks his right fielder. Usually he plays left, but he shows off a bit of the arm strength tonight. That was a very good throw. Number 11 settles in now with one out. Puts a double play in order, too. Cooper, calm and collected. Decent lead at first, might go. That's a strike right in there. On Beautiful. The Doing very well on top of the six here. Not bad. He seems to have his nice pitch control under. But his pitch count might be rising a bit. Here's the 0-1. Decently at first again. He's going to throw over. Make sure he's okay. He is safe. Stepping out of the box. Readjusting the batting gloves is number 11. Trying to work around here. Fulbright. Staring down. Gets the sign from Magnus. Maybe had something in his eye there as he wipes it out. He comes set. And he's going to throw over again. Looks like he might be a bit worried there. Magnus has not had his best game from gunning out runners behind the plate. He is one for three. But they have got a pick off. They have got a pick off. It was Cooper last inning, actually, who got that pick off. Also, a bit of that stalling method, trying to calm down and focus yourself. Here's the 0 1. Strike right in there for the fastball. Beautiful pitch. If he was going to run, he probably should have done it there. Now he's down 0 2. Don't want to risk the strike, the strike him out, throw him out. Malloy seems to be playing in. Shortstop Brendan Novak seems to be back a bit, maybe expecting a bit of the pull. Here's the 0-2. That ball is going to be hit to the bullpen, apparently. And that's going to be a foul ball. All right, 0-2 here. Cooper has got himself in the good count when he wants, but he's got to be able to put it away. 
I wonder if he's going to try to throw inside or outside, get the rollover or get the pushover. Could try to get a can of corn pop fly, though. There we go. Fouls that pitch off now, and we're back. Cooper looking him down here, 750. Calm. He's night really settling in here like a warm blanket on a good day. 0-2. And he's going to throw back again. Third pickoff. Fortunately, not in the big leagues. That would have been the only one he got left. And readjusting. He's work, working and tucking in his shirt there. It's an 0-2 count now. Cooper has been here for about a minute now in this 0-2 count. He's thrown two pitches. This will be the third one of those 0-2. No lead at first. Gets a bit off now. Ooh, nearly took a head off there. He has hit a guy tonight, so he has to be a little bit careful with his control, but that's okay. 1-2 count now. Very open stance here. 1-2. Dancing over at second like about. And oh! A bit of an outside pitch. I don't think the fans agree with it. Calming down. That's a 2 2 count now. Ooh, that's a tough. That's a tough pitch to lose if you are Cooper. It's a 2 2 now. Sounds like a That's hit. the pitch he wanted, and he gets him. Strike four, maybe, but he gets the out finally. That's an out, and that's going to get the second out. Second out. So much booing, it sounds like a house full of ghosts. <laughs> Aragondo steps in now. Definitely good, I agree with you there, Martin. He's able to reorganize himself and get the strike. Ten hits from Pearland today. Always good to see your team in the double digits. Cooper delivers. Fastball right in there. Strike All right, all right. Right over the plate. Good pitch. Seems to be Cooper seems to be challenging them more than uh we had, more than Clark or Logan. But it could just be a bit of the situation he's in. No men moving in the bullpen for Jesuit. They might be sticking with him right now. Oh one, dancing off first base like a ballerina. Strike two. Oh two now. All right, we got a boy on first. Let's see if we can make something. Final strike here. Happen with the strike. Cooper has punched out one this inning. Then he got the throw out from Bell in the outfield. 0-2. Oh, That's a bouncer foul over the Jesuit dugout. Gives the coach a chance to show some of his old fielding skills. Well, it's an 0-2 oh, now. And he is, seems like Cooper here, seems to be nice and piloted in here. Focusing in. Doesn't have to give him a pitch to hit. He's got his count here. 0-2, coming set, and he delivers. That's going to be hit right. Joe Malloy picks it on the nice scope. Don't want to go. Did he get him? He did. Very Good pretty. play there at first, play, first base. There Had to think go. about There's it. There's an out. Well, apparently it remains scoreless in the even innings. Martin, you want to say something? Heading to the bottom of the six. Let's go. Here. They've been hitless the past three innings. Let's see if Jesuit can get some magic working. Here we go. We're heading to the bottom of the six here, and if you're joining us, you've missed a lot. You've uh, you've really missed a lot. 
It was a uh, three-two in the first inning, and then and ever since the then, Crusaders, it's been Paraland. Here comes Magnus. Jaden staying in. He's been in the driver's seat ever since that first inning. Magnus has a double play, and he also has a two-run bomb. The first inning, the only runs we've seen from Jesuit. First pitch. Ball inside. Magnus, calm and collected here. Really can't, you have to turn off the scoreboard in your head. You just have to focus on getting your hits. The 1-0. Ball. 2-0. The quality at bats will win this game, that's for sure. If they can easily control where they're going. Jaden, quick pitching him maybe. 2-0. That's ball three. Throwing a lot of pitches, that's for sure. Nearing the 90 pitch mark. Oh, good pitch there. 3-1. That was a good challenge pitch there. Magnus probably taken all the way. Jaden fires again. 3-1. Oh, and the zone dips a bit. And Magnus thought he walked, but he's going to have to resettle back in for the 3-2. Takes the bat. Three two now, and the pitch. Is that ball four? Yes, it is. Maybe similar to the last strike, but it's okay. As Magnus gonna win the walk there, hard fought battle. Apparently, it seems calm with their pitcher. Next up to bat, Trust him a lot. 11, James They're gonna bring in number fifteen, My Michael Holfield, to run. Run for uh, Magnus. Maybe get the catcher some nice breathing room here. What if they're keeping him in for the lefty-lefty matchup here? Leading off of first. Holfield not holding him, seems like. Delivers. James watches ball one. He's had some tough work in the field today, having to pick a lot of throws. But he's done so very effectively. The 1-0 count now. He delivers. Oh, James gets a nice little blooper. Is he going to be able to get there in time? Third baseman ranging over. And that's it. Wow. Unfortunate bloop. That's going to be out number one. It will bring up the righty. Stepping up to the plate, number 12, right fielder, Ashton Bell. And maybe due to the hand matchup, that might be it. Jaden is going to get a nice little talk from the coach here. He's been in the, He's been very effective all night long. Absolutely, great seems, pitcher. Seems to be controlled and the talk here looks like this gonna be it. Still talking there. Might not be it. Very calling for a new pitcher. Ashton leading off here. He's not the best against right-handers, but he has been effective against the lefties. This could be the reason this is happening. He's been a very very solid tonight though. He's got a rip. Needs to bring in Holfield there at first. Absolutely beautiful shot right here of uh, Markle Steel Field. Yeah, definitely there. Nice sunset. Got the beautiful lights. That was so. After a hundred pitches later, that was a beautiful game from Jaden. Two runs allowed, four hits, and a couple of walks. Hundred through through five and a third, and they're gonna bring in the new righty. The new righty is. Yeah, they're trying to play the hand matchup here. Coleman here. Well, turning the hand matchup here. Wonder if Coach Garcia Mon's gonna go for the lefty. They're gonna go for. Looks like. Looks like they're going to number right hander number twenty two Trevor Ainsworth, the six foot two towering relief pitcher. He's got some good speed on him there. Bell seems like he's gonna stay in. I'm gonna step out here for this real quick.
Ball number 12 stepping in here. Two really big dudes going to face off against each other here. Ainsworth looks over at Michael on first. After an impressive throw last inning, let's see if he can replicate it at the bat. Ooh, heavy heater inside, ball one. 1-0 one -oh count now. Leading off of first, Michael. Decent bit lead. Ainsworth. He's going to fire in. That's a fastball. Beautiful, hit well. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is going back, and it's going to be over the right yes. shoulder's head. Yes. It's going to get down. Michael's gunning it. It's going to go for third. Speed, oh. speed, speed. In. Helmet almost flying off. He gets to third. Had to hold up there. Almost That's thought he had it. Accelerating his Lightning McQueen, baby. Ah, speed. Great rip there from number 12, Ashton Never Bell. Number 28, Logan Lorenz. Man. Well, All right. first hit in three innings. This could be the changing point here. This could be the change. Ainsworth has to hold it down. Loren steps up. He's 0 for 2 tonight. The lefty-righty matchup. A huge RBI opportunity. All about chipping into this lead. One out. Ainsworth's going to recall Team for effort. Pitch. Team effort. On the very edge of that mound. Facing inside. Doesn't want to hit Lorenz. Just wants to intimidate him. Oh, oh. Ooh. Slider out to didn't the side. break enough. Still here. Call and collected the 1 0. Trevor. Nice move. Pitch. Heavy fastball, and he blows it by Lorenz. Eyes lit up there in the box. Thought he had it. 1 1 count. Huge pitch here. Stadium goes quiet. The 1 1. Oh, another heavy heater. Ainsworth's gunning it by. Lorenz needs to shorten up the swing here. He's down one two. One out. Cannot lose his chance if you're Jesuit. This is the this is the game's that point of the game that makes or breaks it. You have one inning left and you know you have to get something going. Ainsworth three deals to Lorenz. Another half hitter. That's gonna be hit for a fair ball. Go, 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 That's go, gonna go, score go, one go, line. Go, go, go. Ball's gonna score. Beautiful, Lorenz gonna pull beautiful. in a second. Is he gonna go for third? No, he's not. He's gonna hold it in with a double. And Jesuit finally has some momentum. Go Crusaders. That's a huge one. Wonderful, wonderful. Talking about chipping into the lead, Martin. That's how you do it. Absolutely, absolutely. Huge two run double. Runnered it in fast. Man, finally get some hits going. And there's a bit of talk here. I don't know what's going to happen. Man, huge rip for Lorenz. He was fighting it off. Nice little bloop there. Stepping up to the plate, number three, Joe Malloy. Malloy steps in. He's got a ground out, and he's got a walk, and he's got a big opportunity to score some more runs. Here we go, number three. Heavy run support, all about trying to get up to the top of the inning here. The sophomore, Trevor, has to be calm here if he wants to get out of this one with minimum damage. Oh, oh. Man, that heater's been working for him tonight so far. That's a pitch. As I said, so it seemed to be blown up by Lorenz. He was able to make that adjustment, just be able to poke it past third base into that gap. We've seen a lot of those today. 0-1 oh, count now. Trevor looks him. Comes set. Kicks and deals. Oh, on the corner. Malloy didn't like it. That's the third Yikes. time today he's gone to 0-2. Not an effective strategy. Here Joyce, we go. Joyce calmed himself down. He was able to battle out of it last time. The momentum's on your side if you're Jesuit, but you have to keep it alive. O2. Trevor looks back. Deals. That ball's hit well. Going deep. Going back. He's going to go to the center field's head. Oh, baseball. She's a cruel mistress and a great catch. Wow. That was drilled, but an incredible grab by the center fielder. Ainsworth thanks him. And that's going to be the second out of the night. Wow, that was a huge make or break moment. Molloy well, crushed it. Plate, left fielder number two, Silas Newport. Newport steps in here. About three batters away from the top of the lineup, and he has to help stay alive. Four outs to go. Center fielder might have saved a run there. Ainsworth. Come set. Quiet falls out the crowd. Oh, on the corner. 
He's been locating very well tonight. Ainsworth seems to be good. Just remember, Jade did start this inning, but Trevor's going to try to finish it. 0 1. Quiet again. The pitch. Oh, swing and a miss. Good slider. That's a nice, peaceful part about baseball. Everything goes quiet when the moment comes. But it's an 0-2 now. And Silas has to clear his mind himself and has to focus on this next pitch. Ainsworth wondering if he's going to slow him down or speed him up. He's got him in his pocket. 0-2. Trevor kicks. He deals. Fastball inside. Oh, and Silas, a stone-cold take for a pitch that could have ended the inning right there. Wow. Good eye. And now he's got him 1-2. Huge moment here. Walking in. Leading off of second. Lorenz. 1-2. Swing and a miss. And Trevor gets out of the inning with only two runs. Jesuit had some good momentum there. But it's still good. About to head to the bottom of the seventh, the top of the seventh. This is the last inning, folks. Stay tuned. Jesuit's got to hold them down. Can they do it? And we're back. Isaiah leads off. Cooper is going to go for his second inning of work here. Here's the pitch. Oh, the big looping curveball. Well, we're down. It's a five-run inning, so I think it's five-run game. So I don't think that uh, Perryland has all the run support they need. Yep. I don't know. But you do want to give your pitcher a break. You don't have to rush it right now. And if Co it's Cooper's job to get out of the inning and try to maybe give a little bit of momentum to the Crusaders going into that final inning of offense. The 2 0. Bounces it. Foul. It's going to be 2 1 now. Yep, 2 1. We've seen some good pitching tonight, especially. We've seen some good pitching tonight, especially from the. We've seen some good pitching tonight, especially from Paraland. And we got a going here. Stepping off the mound here is. Uh, Seven off the mountain is Cooper. Two one. Here we go. Big moment here. Looking <laughs> calm and collective here. Pitch. Ooh, ball inside. 3-1 now, and Cooper's going to have to try to hold himself together. Cannot blow up. Don't have really much room for more pitching. Pitch. That being said, Ben is up in the moving in the mound. The lefty. That's going to be a walk here, 4-1. It's going to put the runner on base. 
Stepping up to the plate, number four, John Moya. And here we're going to get a pitching visit now. Going to wonder if they're talking about up there. Crusader offense been dormant all night. Finally exploded last inning and got some run support going. That being said, they're still down by five and need a pretty big miracle to come back here. It's 8-10. And as promised, the night sky has finally come out. The sun is set. It is a beautiful evening here at Merkel Steel Field. Paraland with 10 hits. They have yet to have an inning. They've yet to have back-to-back -back scoreless innings. Although they have also been very, they also had some very good luck. Last inning, gunned out was another runner trying to go home, so that was a chance they had back-to-back -back scoring innings. But here we go. They're going to bring in the lefty, John Mayo, now facing the right-hander. Full bright, full pitches, full swing. Gets the sign from Magnus. Lackadaisical lead down there at first. Finally gets Melton. He's going to go for it. The throw. Magnus is going to gun him. Oh, whoa. A little bit off target and nearly went into the outfield. But that is another base stolen for Paraland. They had some good luck today. That's one for four on the night. They've attempted a lot, too. We knew going into this game they'd be aggressive on the base paths, and Jack has definitely been aggressive. Not been his best. 0 oh, 1 count now. Here we go, top of the seventh. Pitch, ooh, big looping curve, but it's a bit outside. Ball one. The 1-1 one, one count now, and Cooper's going to come set. Adjusts his hat. Gets a nice field of vision set. Cocks the arm there. Mayo has been very effective tonight. Trying to get another one here. Ready to rock and roll. 1-1. One, one. Come set. He delivers. Ooh, ball and tight. Get to get away from Magnus, and that's going to allow the runner to advance to third. That is not what you want to see if you are Jesuit pitching. Not the best at all. Well, now runner on third. No out still. And Mayo's ahead 2-1. A pop fly to the outfield. If deep enough, could score the run. Although I would tend to try to keep it to center field. They've got some good arms in left with Silas, and there's definitely been a cannon, as we've seen tonight, from Ashton Bell and right. Corners in, mid and field back. That ball is hit well. Going back, Beautiful. going back. Off the wall, base hit. Bell's going to fire it Big in. Big arm. Run scores. And that is going to make it a double digit night for Pearland. Another one of those. They've been having a lot of them recently. That's a 10 to 4 ball game. And that is crushed. John has had himself a game. There's a bit of a conversation happening here. Pearland, this might be it. They might get to eight wins in a row. One of the longer winning streaks. Bit of a talk going on here. And this is probably going to be it for Cooper. Yeah, it will be. Not a bad game from him. He couldn't get out of another inning of work, but he did come in and have a good night. He probably will hit next inning. We'll see. Him. He won't be done, that's for sure. The pat on the back. And there he goes. That's going to bring in the lefty, number 32, Bo Buevis. He's going to try to end this one.
We're back. Cade Adams stepping in now is Bo, the lefty righty matchup. Cade's in here. No outs. Top of the seventh. 10 to 4 ball game. Perryland's gotten the best of Jesuit so far. Ben delivers. Oh, good changeup. Just didn't get the call. Zone seems to be a little bit to the left of home plate and maybe a bit up. Pitchers have been working it to their advantage, but it has it can fluctuate. We're all human, we all make mistakes. Looking in here. Ben. Looks back at second. Delivers. Swing and a miss. Ooh. He almost fallen out of his shoes on that one. It's gonna be a one one. Ben not really known for getting a lot of strikeouts, but he has good ground out material, especially there with that good movement. He comes set now. The one one. Did he get it? No, we didn't. It's a two one now. Two one count now and coming set. Ben. Not look taking them too much look at their on second base. I guess he's not too worried about that. Magnus has a much more clear path to third base than the second. There's a pitch. Oh, change up. It's gonna be blooped up high. Pop can up, of corn pop for up. the shortstop. Easy Ow. catch. Just as practice. <laughs> Out number one. Kind of like the coach, the fly balls the coach hits to you. Yeah, definitely that there. Okay. All right. One out now. And <laughs> Another righty lefty matchup here. The first lefty judge is brought in since Lorenzo. He's going to call for the pitch again. Magnus and Ben trying to get on the same turns. The 1-1 one -one looks back. And delivers. Oh, nearly took him out. Oh, good stop by Magnus. That one could have easily let the runner go to third. 1-0 count. And the pitch is going to take off. Magnus' throw. Ooh, a little high, but caught. And he is safe. That's going to be the sixth steal for Pearland tonight. They've really been taking advantage of the good jumps and speed they have. And that's going to be a another ball. Yes, sir. One out. 2-0 count now. 1-1. One, one. Oh, 1-1. One, one. Sorry, my bad. You're right. We're on third now. Swing and a miss. Waving down low at the changeup. It's going to be a 1-2 pitch now. Try not to get too much on the board. They're only up by six. Although Judge has shown much power, they can definitely do it. That can I get him? No, it isn't. It's going to be a ball low. 2-2. Two, two. One out now, and Ben trying to work his way out of this one. A walk does put the double play in order, so that is a nice benefit. Coming set. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Delivers. On the outside, that's going to be 3-2. Very, very smart take there for the right-handed here. Three two pitch. Ben delivers. And he's not gonna lose him. That's a beautiful change up and gets him swinging low. Strike three. That's yes, the second sir. out. One more. When we're we're talking about the off and on trend of Paraland. It's yeah, continued. Plate, here comes the always dangerous Nico Bartita. He's had a great game so far and he could try to continue here. Maybe get a nice little RBI. First pitch. Strike. Strike. Nice. Good pitch. 0-1 oh, now. And he's looking at him here. That's a 10-4 ball game. Partita can maybe try to make it 11-4 if he puts one in play. Jesuits defense has not been their surefire selves. That's a changeup. It's going to be a ground ball to third. Good field. The throw. Oh, and it gets away from him. That's going to score a run. A bit too far inside on the hands. And the first baseman's James Reham can't grab it. That's going to score another run. Ah, that was the inning right there, too. That's the fourth error for the Crusaders tonight, opposed to zero from Pearland. Clear difference there. Ben just trying to get out of this inning alive. Does not want to give up more runs. Two more strikes, and we can do it. That ball's hit well. It's going to get past the third baseman. This is the domino effect. He's going to go for third. Could go for home if he has the guts, but he's not. He's going to hold up at third. And a good block. Smart base running there. It's going to be a nice double. And Paraland still applying pressure in the late innings. Stepping up to the 
the plate, number five, Daniel Ontiveros. Pitch. Ooh, ball outside. Man. Ben now having to work around him here tonight. This guy already has one RBI. The odd runs have killed them. The pitch. Ooh, ball away, but a good block by Magnus. I'll talk about it. Pearland's definitely done a good job of putting up the crooked numbers. It's a nice 11 to 4 night. 2 0. Challenge pitch coming from Ben. And the pitch. That ball's hit well, but foul. Maybe trying to straighten out that swing a bit. Ball's going to bounce back into play here. It's going to take a second to get that one in. Two and one now. Comes set and delivers. That ball's grounded. Is it going to get through? Did Brendan get the play? Yes, he did. Beautiful, wow. beautiful, beautiful. Brandon Novak with a great Wonderful. pick and throw. All right, here we go. Bottom Absolutely. of the seventh. Three outs to go. Jesuit needs a miracle. Can they do it? We'll be back. We're back. Malloy's older brother Jack steps in here on the mound. Pearland's gone to their closer, number one, Partiti. Come set here. First pitch. Strike gets the call. 0-1 oh, count now. First pitch. Oh, that's going to be foul back. Good hack by Malloy, but now he's down 0-2. Partiti's had a good game. We used to talk about him being a dangerous batter, but we don't hear a lot. He's a dangerous two-way player. Coming in for the closing job. Here we go. Tries to get a nice little hold here. It's an 0-2 count. Oh, got him on the corner. A three-pitch punch out and part here. Beautiful. Beautiful frame job there. Well, that's going to bring up number 10, Nico Broyles, the sophomore catcher. Stepping, stepping up in. to the plate, number 10, Nico Broyles. The third the four, the third of four sort of sophomores on this team. Trying to stay alive. First pitch. Oh, heat. Ball. One out. 
Oh, heat strike. Like how he has that nice little inside movement laid in. Again, it makes it hard to read. Nico one foot out. Nice to take a second foot out. Takes time here. Partidi resets himself. 1-1 one, one count. The pitch. Strike two. That's a 1-2. And Nico's bat has not left his shoulder since he stepped in the box. You don't want to go down looking, that's for sure. 1-2. Partidi delivers. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two, and that's going to be one away from Pearland here. The speed of the throw is impressive. I mean, you hear the uh, you hear the ball hitting the mitt, and it's just really impressive. It's a beautiful sound, isn't it? Indeed. All right, well, I promise you all one last step out from Cooper, and here it is. He's going to have to come in here. Last chance for the Crusaders tonight. You know what we say, full bright, full swings, full pitches. Let's go. Two outs now, Partidi. Three strikes away from ending Jesuits' night and giving Pearland their eighth win in a row. First pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good pitch down there. 825. Full dark blanket of night. But all eyes are on the mound of Nico Partiti. 0 1. Swing and a miss. There it is. Jesuit down to their final strike tonight. Can they work themselves out of this hole? Cooper. Nico needs one more. Cooper taking his time, really getting himself ready for it. The 0 2. Will he get him? Yes, he will. Strikes him out, and Partiti ends the game. Massive victory. All right, all 8 0. Right. Pearland knocking down Jesuit. They go 2 0 in the series. Well, that's a wrap. 11 4. Tough game for the Crusaders trying to fight back. We'll see if they can do it next time. I'm Luke Taraski. This is Martin Mejia. Thank you to the guys in the booth, Stanley and Eli. Thank you to Mr. Pat, Mr. Irwin, our good president, Matthew Watson, and Mr. H for helping us do this stream. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night. Have a good night, Crusaders. Absolutely. Thank you.